your car broke down, which teammate would you call to help you out? Buster. <laughs> he, he would come pick you up. I think that's probably the best way to think about it is who's going to get you to where you need to go. Who well, on the team would you trust to cook you a full dinner? Ooh. Johnny. I watch all of his, uh, his Instagram videos. He's got all of his food going. Go for a nice, nice Latin meal. What's a skill or talent you wish you had? Uh, I wish I could play the guitar. I've tried to, and it just does not work. <laughs> Whose hair is better, Beatty's or Crawford's? Craw. Have to go with Craw. It's got history behind it. It's got a couple World Series to it, so that, uh, that helps it out a lot. I think Beatty could get there. You know, I'll give, I'll give him that, but gotta, gotta stick with the longevity of Craw. Outside of baseball, who's your favorite athlete? Ooh, Tom Brady. It's probably, probably an easy one, even though he broke my heart when he went to Tampa. I got over it, I'm happy for him, and uh, I'm still just intrigued with his career, how long he's made it, and how he stayed healthy at 43 years old. What would you say to him if you met him? Uh, it's funny, like, there's not too many people who I feel like I'd be, like, completely starstruck when I met. And I've always said that him and Mark Wahlberg would be the two guys that I would just be like, kind of quiet and wouldn't know what to say to him. I would just be like, hey, how's it going? This is cool. <laughs> if you had an actor to play you in a movie, who would it be? Uh, I, I would pick Wahlberg. I'm not so sure it's fitting, but he would be my choice. I'm not so sure anybody, anybody else would pick that. He's versatile, you know, he, he does the, uh, the bad boy act and then he's got the funny, the comedy on the side. So I think he does a really good job and he always makes a, an entertaining movie no matter what. What's your biggest pet peeve? Biggest pet peeve, having to repeat myself. You know, if somebody is asking you a question and then you answer it and they either don't hear you or act like they don't hear, hear you and you have to repeat it, that, uh, that annoys me for sure. Can you say that again? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Were Ross and Rachel on a break? <laughs> I don't have a, a strong memory of why they were. I just know that I think they were. What would Wilmer say? Oh, he'll, he'll be the one that'll have a really good answer. He'll know everything. Favorite pizza topping? Uh, pepperoni. Thoughts on pineapple? I'm with it. Ooh. I like it. You got to get a little extra carbs in there, you know? Some healthy carbs. Who on the team lifts the most? Huh. Honestly, right now, it might be Joe McCarthy. He came in looking like an absolute linebacker. Like, he looks like he's playing middle linebacker for the 49ers right now. In the morning, how many alarms do you set? One. Always one. I'm a, I'm a one alarm guy. I slept through an alarm in college one time, and Corbs was not too happy with me, and so I never did it again. <laughs> how cool has it been to have so many guys from Vandy at the Giants? It's been awesome. I got to room with Beattie in college. Um, played with Kurt, me and Salmon were the same year. Just being able to have those guys around and people that, you know, have good memories and be able to continue our careers together. Who is your role model? My dad. He taught me how to play baseball and, you know, kind of grew my love for the game. And so I kind of owe all that to him on, on why I fell in love with baseball and ended up, you know, giving it everything I have. What's a staple in your fridge? Definitely cold brew coffee. What's your coffee order? I get a cold brew with light ice, no cream or no anything, just black. Even if it's freezing outside? Yes, always. <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those guys. Who is the best style on the team? Craw's got the shoe style. Clothes wise, I don't know. I don't really pay attention too much to clothes. I like the shoes more than the clothes. What's the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Um, lobster eye. My uncle, uh, He's got a uh, beach house up in Seabrook with lobster traps. And so they would always catch lobster. And he forced me when I was in high school to eat the eye because that's what he did. He said it was the delicacy and it was horrible. Never do it again. What video game are you best at? None. Actually, I'm good at NHL. That's the only one I'm good at. Uh, the other ones, I'm so bad. They're fun, but I'm just terrible at them. What about board games? Probably Settlers of Catan. Played a couple games last night, should have won. Everybody likes to gang up on me though, it's not fun. If you get off to a, too hot of a start, you just put a target on your back and that's what's been happening to me lately. There are no friends in that game. 
Window seat or aisle seat? Aisle. I like the little bit of leg room and I don't have to make anybody move when I have to go pee. If you could be on a reality show, which one would you be on? Mm. Probably Survivor. I think that would be fun. You know, have, have some challenges, have some competition, be able to make some friends, possibly cross some friends. <laughs> That'd be fun. Former giant you look up to the most. Can it be kind of a current giant too? Because yeah. they're technically former giants. Yeah. Probably Craw. You know, the way that he's composed himself and the way that he carries himself has really helped me learn how to kind of be a pro. There's never a moment that's too big for him. So that's always something really cool that I've always admired. What was your first concert? My first concert was Backstreet Boys, for sure. I think I went for my eighth birthday. It was awesome. We took like a limo into Boston. First time I'd ever been in a limo. Went to that show and it was at the Garden. Definitely a, a memorable one. Favorite away ballpark to play in? Colorado. <laughs> You're gonna say Fenway? I, I enjoyed Fenway. You know, I loved the once in a lifetime opportunity and experience of doing that. So that was super cool. But in terms of like just playing in a place, I love playing in Colorado. What's your favorite vacation spot? Um, Turks and Caicos. It's a really down to earth, you know, island that is just really special, really beautiful, and you just get to go relax. You don't have to, you know, hustle around to see things or have an itinerary. You can just putz around and do whatever you want. That was awesome. Iron, Man. Iron Man, big Iron Man guy. I like Iron Man, but I like the Flash more. Flash is probably my my all time favorite right now. Who do you think is the best golfer on the team? Kurt's really good when he's not injured. We have, we have some good battles. Sam Selman's really good. Longo's not bad either. We've got some good golfers. We asked somebody who are some of the best golfers on the team and they, your name has come up a few times. I think I'm okay. I've got some work to do, but um, I would accept that for now. Favorite thing to do in the off season? Golf or surf. I grew up around the ocean and really love just getting in the water whenever I can. So if I have the opportunity, I will. Being in Nashville doesn't, doesn't conduce to, to, to too many opportunities. So when I go home, I like to. If you weren't playing baseball, what would your career be? Uh, I'd try to make it golfing. You know, you get to go to the most beautiful places in the world and you're outside all the time having fun. That or I would have loved to give in hockey another shot. Hockey was probably my favorite sport to play growing up. Even more so than baseball, I just happen to be better at baseball. <laughs> the idea is a little reverse of baseball. You know, with baseball, you want to be calm, collected, make sure you can be doing everything correctly and you're not making mistakes out on the field. With hockey, it's like you get up, you get fired up, and you go hit somebody. <laughs> That was a great video, wasn't it? If you want to watch more, click here. Or, or here. Or, uh, I don't know. They'll, they'll pop it up.